Hey there, it's Mitchell, your favorite millennial, and today we're going to talk about why I think GoPro gimbals are stupid. Now, if you've been watching any of the videos I've done recently, you would have seen I have owned all of the big gimbals on the market for the GoPro Hero 5, and if you paid close attention, you might picked up the fact that I currently own a DJI Osmo Plus. It's actually what I'm using to record this video right now, along with my Rode VideoMic Pro and a couple other accessories. All of which, by the way, if you're interested, I'll link them down in Amazon links below. And if you'd like me to do a review about each separate product, I'd be more than happy to do that for you. Just leave a comment in the section down below. Before we jump into why I think GoPro gimbals are stupid, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you really like my videos, be part of the notification squad that gets notified every time I make a new video. Um, it really helps me grow the channel and I appreciate it as well. So if you've paid attention to any of the recent GoPro gimbal videos that I've done, you would have noticed that I have owned a lot of them. Uh, I've recently sold all of them simply because I think that the DJI Osmo Plus is a better product. Now there's a couple of reasons why I think that GoPro gimbals are stupid. Um, and before we jump into all, all this, I would just like to say that these are all my thoughts and opinions. If you like my thoughts and opinions, hopefully you're subscribed. If you don't like them and you're currently subscribed, go ahead and hit unsubscribe. This is just personally how I feel uh, on the subject after owning uh, a lot of these devices and some of my thoughts and you know experiences with them. So we're just gonna jump right into it. So the thing that everybody loves about GoPros or action cameras is how small, compact, portable, easy to use, rugged, durable they are for the most part. Um, GoPro, Xiaomi, Sony, they all make great action cameras that are simple to use and all, all create great footage. Now, the moment you put that small, compact, durable action camera on a gimbal, it loses all of that. All of a sudden, you can't get this wet. I mean. The Feiyu gimbal is an exception. I, you know, if you checked out my video, you would see that I've thrown water over it, and it is a pretty durable device. But sand, grit, grime, um, they're all still susceptible to that. Conditions like that are usually the exact reason why I have a GoPro instead of my SLR or another camera that can be affected by those types of conditions. And as soon as you mount a GoPro on a gimbal, you lose all all of that. No longer does your GoPro on that gimbal become a small compact device. You have to worry about secondary chargers now and calibrating the gimbal in some cases. And those are all things that get in between what the idea of an action camera is and you actually executing it. The second reason why I think that GoPro gimbals are stupid is because at the end of the day, if you're trying to get cinematic footage out of a compact package, a GoPro plus a gimbal is probably one of the worst um, combinations that you could do. I say that due to a couple of reasons. Uh, but first and foremost being the distortion that that wide angle gives you, the fact that there's no optical zoom and you're pretty much stuck at that fisheye view if you want to shoot at 4K. That being said, there are other options if you wanted to get a... Sh uh, a Yi 4K action camera, and then use some M12 threaded lenses to give you different focal length, that's fine, but you're still gonna have to focus each of those replacement lenses that you put on um, to make sure that the footage that you're getting is, is clear and, and not fuzzy. If you would like me to do a video talking about um, replacement M12, ooh, hitting the mic, sorry about that. If you'd like me to do a video about replacement uh, M12 lenses, and uh, things that you can do to modify the GoPro. I'm happy to do that. I don't have a ton of hands-on experience and I'll link videos that are more regarding that in the description down below if you would like to check that out. But it is an option to get different lenses for action cameras. Now, if you have a GoPro, unfortunately, uh, GoPro has a color profile that's loaded into the firmware of that camera that's gonna give you a distorted color on the edges when you replace that lens. Uh, there's a company called Poe Productions that sends uh, where you can um, go ahead and disable that color profile, but you're looking at an extra $50 for the software plus 
in some cases, a hundred, hundred fifty dollars for the lens. So you're looking at an extra hundred and fifty bucks on top of the four hundred dollar upfront cost of a GoPro. If you get the uh, the Yi four K camera, you can circumvent some of that cost. But at the end of the day, you're still stuck with an ultra wide view um, if you don't want to go ahead and start tampering with it. Which, if you do, by the way, it does void the warranty. That being said, um, you know we can see why putting a GoPro on a gimbal wouldn't be the best solution for getting stabilized footage. I thought this was a route that I wanted to go. And after I got into it, I realized that I could have just bought a DJI Osmo Plus. It would have a zoom lens and actually have a lot more capability um, for the same price, if not less. So if you already use a GoPro a lot um, and you would like to have a gimbal for the time's that you're using it in conditions that are more um, controlled, I guess you could say, then a GoPro gimbal, you know, might be a great thing um, for people that like skateboard a lot, I guess, or snowboard. I could see it really being used if you're trying to get cinematic, stabilized footage out of a device. Uh, the DJI Osmo is is hands down the best solution that you have. Um, you know, just in the fact that there is a microphone input, which I'm which is the reason why I can use it to record this video. Uh, I would never be able to record this video with a GoPro. So I would love to hear what you guys think on this subject. Are you GoPro gimbal fans? Are you DJI Osmo fans? Do you think that stabilized footage in a small form factor is a ridiculous proposition? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, guys, subscribe. If you really like the videos, go ahead, hit that notification. And if you know someone that would really benefit from some of the things I'm talking about, go ahead and share that video with them. That's the best way to help my channel grow is to share some of these videos that I create. Till next time, guys and gals, thank you and take care.